fewer than 30 women have been reportedly kidnapped by bandits in Zamfara following attacks on 15 villages within the neighborhood of Gwarsu, the state capital. In a report by BBC Awza, some locals in Giba and Gida Garura villages and others in communities within the Gwarsu local government area said. The bandits invaded their communities, killed men, and destroyed properties. A source said the bandits kidnapped women and girls, took them away. One of the locals told the media, the bandits kidnapped 10 women in Kura at Ba Yaure. They kidnapped nine. They also entered a village called Ghana and kidnapped seven before proceeding to Duma and kidnapped another seven. This happened before Sunday morning. According to the report, many villages have been deserted as the villagers have now embarked on the exodus to the state capital, Gosu. A local who was immigrating to Gosu said they have now run away to the Damba community inside Gosu. We have women, children, and the pregnant ones. There, there is no food. If you see where they sleep in the in this cold, as if there is no government, a local residing in Damba community alleged. Meanwhile, when contacted the Commissioner of Information in Zamfara State, Ibrahim Do Sara, confirmed that the attack was in. Giba, he explained that shortly after the bandit attack, security agents went to rescue the situation. He said, There are soldiers walking in that zone. They went to Giba. They met three people injured. The soldiers dispatched the bandits. The commissioner said it was not true that villages that were attacked were not visited by the security agents on a rescue mission. Development follows in an announcement that security agents arrested some bandits that were earlier dislodged in their hideout after they went to a medical facility for treatment. For some years, Zamfara is among the states in the north battling with banditry, a phenomenon that has attained a disturbing dimension in the state of Sokoto, Christina, Kaduna, and their neighbors. Last week, the bandit burnt over 20 passengers in a motor vehicle in Sokoto, a development that caused series of condemnation and elicited anger among some Nigerians who were alleging that the government was allowing the bandit to have a feed day unchallenged. <laughs> this is the country we found ourselves. You see that I am talking about, you see what I'm talking about? Only God knows how many that we survive from this attack. And Bokona, Bokona first wanted to shut the whole country down for the death of 41 persons in his country. I know the man will be looking at us with one kind of eye if he do listen to Nigerian news. Look at these two rifles between the police and the bandits and know who is sponsoring them. The main bandit is that robot in Asorok. He is a momentary national security risk. I thought Mazin Namdekano is their problem. They kidnapped him and locked him up in DSS dungeon. Yet, not his bleeding as long as Igbos are still in, in this fake one Nigeria. Not, we never know peace. Until God of vengeance, we finish his work on, on our behalf. These are reactions by Nigerians. They not brought this upon themselves. I foretold the day they will speak the truth with tears in their eyes. Hypocrisy got them here. Verily, verily, I now believe not is finished. I mean completely finished. Hmm. Congratulations, fellow religious Nathanians. The language is getting clearer. This is just too much. And this army are in the East arresting innocent people. Too sad. These people in the North need help. Because honestly, not as they need help. 
serious one. <laughs> it's really very, very unfortunate because is the poor man out there is at the receiving end. All this while I went there. If you go talk now, those people say they don't know what it is that they talk. People, when they go their farm, they do, you know, they do their job, what they use to feed their families and all that. Now them bandits, they do your hair in the north. But funny enough, our government, they are saying that the country is calm. There is no problem. Bandits, the insecurity in Nigeria, you cannot compare it with uh, the ex-president administrator, good luck, Jonathan, I'm talking about PDP. That's what this government always say, that they are the best government. <laughs> They are the best government in terms of security, in terms of corruption and all that. They are the best. Honestly speaking, this is getting out of hand. If time is not taken, Bandit is going to take over Nigeria. They are taking over the northern part of the country already. So what's else? What is remaining? Somebody will come and attack you now that you are saying that the government is not trying. You will see them, you know, with this, they yeah, game, uh, play game uh, tactics. They know how to blame the past administration. They know how to blame COVID-19 for their failures, COVID-19 pandemic for their failures. They know how to blame the past leaders. This is how you know people who will never change and people who can never take correction. We are just here in the middle of Red Sea. We can't go front. We can't go back. And this is a very big problem. You understand this is a very big problem what a human tragedy that are looking for wives those women can never be the same again they have been damaged emotionally and that is it the gospel truth honestly this country needs serious prayer I'm dropping it here kindly share your thoughts with us